What is this? Ah. So you, you're you're a designer of the stamp box, huh? Well, I am. Uh, I'm gonna be conditioning this with that guy. He's actually signed up to take the test. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what tell me what you've made here. Well, this is the kid actually, and uh, what what you're going to see here is like three main things. Basically, you've got the Beagle board, an Arduino, and then this prototype board. So the Beagle board is going to be running Linux, okay. and there you're going to be programming sound effects. After you get some knowledge from us, basically on how to design digital audio effects. Uh, this guy is going to be gathering data from sensors and knobs, etc. All sorts of sensors that uh -huh. you can... Yeah. Okay. And this guy is going to be sending the data to the bigger board. Um, and the nice thing about it is that you're going to be building the box that contains this. And you're going to be getting this box to stage after you program it, actually. So that's kind of cool. So what, so what are the limits of some of the like the audio processing capability that you might be able to do, right? So like if I wanted to do like a flange effect or a chorus effect. You can, or, you can. Yeah, if you can do most of what you, I mean, of course there's some limits, the sound processing of the, the board, but you can do pretty, pretty cool things actually. Yeah, any any like uh, ideas what types of effects you've done? Do you do like pitch shift effects? Do you do? Yeah, yeah pitch shift is already something. Uh, there's some videos actually using this actual kit and uh, pitch effects that we have uh, been programming as a demonstration prior to this workshop. Uh, you can do even sampling. You can uh, wow effects. Wow. Uh, um, so a bunch of like if you wanted to do like something where you like a, a live mixer or live DJ sort of thing in your stop box where you're you're triggering events with your guitar. Or... Yeah. I mean it's a it's a matter also uh, of how you design the interface also. So it's not just about whether this guy is able to process the data but also how you actually design the interaction. So which okay. is also a big part also of the, of the whole workshop. But, so it's pretty yeah. unlimited. So when when is this workshop and how do I get signed up for it? I mean who who all can go to it? So this workshop is uh, basically open to everyone. So we will be teaching it, assuming that there's no knowledge on digital signal processing whatsoever. So no no DSP knowledge at all. No, we'll be teaching that incrementally. From the and Lin beginning. what about Linux knowledge? Is that required? Well, we'll be giving the not really actually because the things you'll be doing in Linux for uh, are pretty straightforward. We'll be programming effects in a graphical, let's say, language, give okay. data. So for people who already know, uh, we can get them to do some, let's say, more advanced stuff. But uh, the idea is that anyone can go there, from musicians who want to actually explore uh, digital audio effects and how to build them, how to get their own flavor, actually, for the Stoneboxes, to actually engineers, makers, uh, designers who want to actually get into more to an artistic part. Musicians. Okay, cool. And and so wait, you said this is summer? Yeah, this is from July 18th to July 22nd. It's gonna be one whole, whole week, uh, five days, eight hours a day workshop. Uh, we'll have both theory and lab classes. We'll have lectures from uh, say professors on at Stanford also. Uh, We'll get people to do whatever they want. We'll do some guided exercises, but they have to do their own projects, which is nice because it's not gonna be strict in that, in that regard. People can actually invent whatever they want. We're going to be giving support to whatever people want to do. Sounds really cool. So how much is it? I'm not sure about the price, okay. actually. But you can check it out online. I can give you a flyer. Okay, great. I'll, 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 I'll upload a video and uh, I'll, I'll try to put the URL on there. And you said there's a bunch of other videos I can link to, right? Well, in there, there's uh, you're going to be yeah, uploading a video. It's on YouTube there. I can give you links later on videos. Okay, great. Thank you very much.